your teachers to very experienced teachers to student teachers, uh, which I think speaks volumes for the culture, for the trust, for the respect, and for the commitment to figure out how to get better. Whether you're, it's obvious as a student teacher, well, I have to figure out how to do it first and then get better. Uh, to an experienced teacher, we all have learning goals and we all model learning. And I would argue we can't really be effective teachers if we're not learners ourselves. And not just about teaching, but just in our own lives. It's one of the reasons why I married a teacher, is that, that's the, that this learning thing is one of my favorite things to do as a human being. Whether it's, well, I'll stop right there. Um, you know, that given enough rope and he hangs himself inevitably. So here's what I'd like to do is I'd like to, first of all, throw it open for real specific things. We're going to have a, a version of what we've already had, um, but now we want to tie it directly to individual teachers. So what I'd like you to do is look back at either the notes you made or the thoughts that you had, whether you wrote them down or not, about specific practices that you saw that, that you thought were really important. Also, I want you to be thinking of the process of learning together, right? So I want you just having that, you guys, in the back of your minds. But I would like to start with our teachers right here. And what I'd like you guys to do, and everybody else have to speak. This will just be, so we're not going to go down here from everybody. It's just, it'll be sort of like a popcorn. Speak if you have something to say. Listen if you don't. That's all cool. Um, and what I'd like you to think about is just to sort of get us going. What were your... Um, Fears, hesitations, what were you thinking about last night and this morning about what this whole thing was going to be like? And what, how are you thinking and feeling right now? So any reflections that, that, that you have on the process that you experienced today, um, as well as your perceptions of what you think it was like for the kids, all, all the way for Linda's kids were here literally in the fishbowl. But in every classroom, I mean, a lot of classrooms, we, we had 10, 12, 13 people. They were sort of in a micro fishbowl in their own classrooms. Uh, so just any reflections, comments on thoughts and feelings, because both matter, intellect as well as emotion, um, your take on this whole learning community, learning walk experience. I can start, I guess. Um, I teamed, oh, I'm Krista Sherman. Um, I was second hour, I teamed with Nikki Walsh, and then I also did third hour in essential skills. I teach um, special ed. Great, thank you. Um, I was pumped for second hour because we, we do this all the time. It's just part of our culture. And then um, about 10 minutes before it started, I forgot that I also agreed to do third hour and went, oh, um, I got to get to work on this and didn't have time because I had first hour and second hour. And I guess it wasn't, third hour wasn't as polished as I would have liked it to have been. But what I found afterwards was I'm glad that this is just my structure that even when it's just like a crazy, hectic day, the kids are engaged, and it may not be as, you know, I could have probably pumped it up a little bit, but I didn't have time and wasn't going to make it not authentic. So it was nice that these are just part of the routines, yes. and it's it's always there, and even when it falls flat and, the, you know, the boys are mumbling and going, boo, 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 <laughs> they're doing it because that's just part of the culture. So even when it's a bad teaching day, yes. it's still a good engagement. Yes. They're, they're all engaged. Yeah. Fabulous. Thank you so much, Krista. That's, you know, that's, I think, when we ask yourself, what's the mark of a pro? And ask other people in other professions, and they'll tell you. It's, now this is obviously World Series time. Well, one of my very good friends from college uh, is Ron Say. And Ron Say had an incredibly productive career, was an all-star three times, uh, co-MVP of the World Series when they beat the Yankees in 81. Well, we were roommates for two years. And I lived in Southern California his whole career. Now I hate the Dodgers. But I, w I was never really a Dodger fan as a Ron Say fan. That is the truth. But I remember asking him, you know, what makes a pro a pro? And he said, even on your off days, you're pretty good. Some days the stars align, and you know what? It's magic. And some days the stars align, and it's, you know what? You go 0 for 4, and you make an error. But even then, you made some good plays. So, and I think when you ask, when you ask a surgeon, I mean, raise your hand if when it's your root canal, you want them on their bad day to still be pretty proficient. <laughs> yes, and I would argue that's the mark of good schools and good teachers, exactly what you said. Because we're not always, but you know what? Our B game is still pretty darn good. We strive for the A game, but for a variety of reasons. Sometimes we're up late with the kid and the kid's sick. Sometime I'm prepping a lesson, but I'm watching the World Series, and Marbury versus Madison is not the most important thing at that moment in time. But it was, 
Yeah, so anyway, I think that was brilliantly stated, and that's what a pro is, and we saw pros working today. Thank you very much. How about any other reflections, comments on just the process itself or your experience of it? I think I'll just um, just go off of what Krista said. Yeah. I, I've done this before. We've done this year with other teachers coming in. Cool. And so I wasn't nervous, I guess. And I think I feel comfortable because Krista and I always do these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And so it didn't feel like I was putting out a show for right. somebody. Great. And um, I guess the only thing I was a little nervous about was just having people I don't know in my classroom. Yeah. But it was nice to get a fresh perspective on my teaching. Yeah. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Wonderful. Great. Anybody else? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, as an, I'm an art teacher, yes. and so two years ago, as you know, we're talking about benchmarks and different things, and really beefing up the curriculum. I am very passionate about my art, and I think that art is more than pretty. So it was kind of a wow. You mean I actually can expect more than just pretty? And I have found that my students. And Mr. Shoemaker, he's maybe not in here today, but he came down yesterday and said, it was so funny, we were doing ties, you know, and I have a few kids that have all A's and they got to be in your class. And they said, hey, Mrs. Combs is really hard. <laughs> and I said, but did they say I was fair? Did they, he goes, yeah, they said you're fair, but you're really hard. <laughs> so I don't know for sure what that means, but, um, you know, it is, it's very fun to have some of these real uh, roots that they're tying on to, yeah. and it's not just about pretty. And in our curriculum, um, out of all the benchmarks, there's only one that really speaks of the creativity of it. All the rest is more about making your connections with the real world and, and how all that's working. So they have to write about their benchmarks, and they're talking about real, you know, real things. Yeah. And as, yeah, and as I was getting ready last night, and I didn't think I was all that nervous either, yeah. but um, I dreamt that I'm cutting up my think ink link sheets and the whole top is off and but I just killed the tree and 60 of them are dead. You know, so obviously I must have been more nervous than what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's great. Thank and so I much. came to school and they were not cut. <laughs> I was happy. Yes, yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. oh, go ahead. Yes. I volunteered for this almost the beginning of the school year, said, yeah, that's fine, people observe me all the time, no big deal, and then last night I started freaking out, <laughs> and I was like, what, they're not going to want to learn from me, I don't know anything, <laughs> I don't know anything yet, um, but I have to say, I, I just really appreciate all the support and that affirmation, and then I was in here earlier um, when I had prep, and it just made me feel really good and really um, like I'm growing and learning, and not like it was worthless to come and observe my classroom. Fabulous. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that. And that is a, uh, even though you, you've been observed a lot as a young teacher and student teacher, uh, your willingness to, to up that ante as deserving of deep respect for, from all of us. And I think it raises the bar for, for some of us. Uh, not that there's any salty dogs in here other than me, but there's experienced teachers in here that, you know, we haven't gotten a lot of feedback in a while. And that I think young teachers saying no big deal, you know, I think that, that puts a ball in our court. Well, if it's no big deal for a student teacher, you know what? We need to make it no big deal for us as well. Uh, so I really appreciate that, that even though you're a novice and your learning curve is steep, you're obviously in a great milieu, if you will, for that learning curve to grow and develop. So that's very, very cool. Thanks. I was excited. I was, um, I was really excited to be a part of it. And this is my 11th year teaching. And like Kevin said, we don't get the chance to get critiqued as often, I think, as we'd like, and I'm someone who constantly pushes to be better. And so to embrace this opportunity, this was perfect for me. Um, I could get feedback from other professionals. Um, I was very excited uh, about having people in my class. I was intimidated by the camera setup. <laughs> I was expecting a little <laughs> camera, and there was this huge it's setup. Like camera. Um, but, um, but like I said, I, I didn't give too much thought about it last night. I mm -hmm. thought I'm going to come in today and I'm going to do what I do. Yeah. And that's the best way that I can get true feedback about who I am and, and how I teach. So um, I thought it was a, an exceptional opportunity that we were given. So Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Anybody else have a comment? Reflection? Well, a couple of things. One, um, I really appreciate the written feedback um, because it was nice to go through and, and star things that showed up on more than more than one form. Ah. So just the sheer number of people in the room yes. 
And seeing the same, um, you know, suggestion or <coughs> comment about, you know, have you considered this? That was, I mean, a couple of things really stuck out to me. So I appreciate that, because all of that didn't really necessarily come out in the conversation. Yeah. You were very nice to me in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I appreciated seeing uh, something in writing that I go, okay, you know, yeah, obviously several people noticed that, and I haven't considered that much, and so something to Wonderful. consider. Um, the other thing that this just the whole process the last year and a half has done for me is make me um, just a lot more conscious every day how many, how engaged are the students. And so I appreciate the new skills that I've been taught. And um, I mean, it's really, and I'm not even going to tell you how long I've been teaching. It's not your business. <laughs> but um, I just feel like it's really renewed. I mean, I've always enjoyed this job, and yeah. I'm not bored with it. I tell my husband I'll teach till I get crabby and I'm not there yet. <laughs> um, but, um, That's a yeah. good bar. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I just feel very re-energized. Um, again, you know, there are periods in your teaching career yeah. that happen. And so it's been fun. So okay. thank you for doing it. And oh. my heart did go faster and I actually thought I might pass out. <laughs> At one point, there was no good reason for it. I was like five minutes into the lesson, I thought, my heart is beating fast. <laughs> But that happened in my, so my physical self was, not, it wasn't seen as calm as my, I thought my mental self. <laughs> yeah, Great. Thank you, Linda. Anybody else? I'd have yeah. to agree with her. There were a lot of people in my class. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people. And I get, when they left, the kids went, and everything stopped. Yeah. yeah. And the kids looked at me, how come there were so many? <laughs> <laughs> I said, are they coming back? <laughs> yeah. So, I sometimes hear, do you still have your job? <laughs> Yeah. Anything else? Well, I, I don't know. I don't know how it affected them, you know, in terms of learning. But I mean, I think that was the most focus I've had. Yeah. You can come back. Maybe not as many. As <laughs>